Good morning, I'm Tamara with Wyoming Dutch Oven Cooking. Welcome to our channel. We're doing another wonderful fun meal today, a one pot meal. We had to change our locations. We're back here in Wyoming and Mother Nature's not cooperating. The wind is blowing like crazy. But what we're doing is called a campfire hash. And this is really something fun to do when you're up in the mountains camping because it's so incredibly easy. You can prepare all of this and put it in a container because you cook it all at the same time in your Dutch oven. And we're using a 10 inch Dutch oven today and we've got it over here preheating um, under briquettes. We were gonna do it over fire, but it's just too windy today to do it over you know, regular coals. So it's preheating over here and the first, actually there isn't, you just put everything in there. And I've got prepared potatoes here and onions and garlic, some black beans that I rinsed and drained corn, about two cups of corn, and I have some homemade chicken broth and I'm going to add to it, freshly chopped cilantro, and your whatever favorite one you like. We love cabalsa, and this is just a pork cabalsa, and then I'm going to add a four ounce can of green chilies, and the only other seasoning that I'm going to add to this is a teaspoon of cumin and a teaspoon of pepper, which I've already got that measured. We're hoping you're liking this today. Just remember to please subscribe, hit that like button, and leave a comment and share. Share with your family and friends. We really appreciate that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and take the lid off and add all these ingredients to this. All right, what I've done here is put about two tablespoons of oil in here, and it's preheating. I'm going to go ahead and add my onions and garlic. Like I said, this is so incredibly simple. You just add everything to this. Now I'm gonna add my potatoes. And we're gonna cook this at about 350 for about an hour. You can use canned corn or frozen. I just like to use the frozen corn. Whatever your preference is. There goes our black beans. I rinsed and drained these. There goes our wonderful cabalsa. Green chilies. These are mild green chilies. If you want to kick it up, you could uh, use the hot. Yeah, my husband always likes to kick it up. I really have to watch him. He'll walk by and be adding spices to something I've made. So he does have to be watched there a bit. Okay, there's our freshly chopped cilantro. As you can see, this pot's gonna be full. There are my spices that I've pre-measured. Now I'm gonna put on my chicken broth. Now this is homemade chicken broth and there is a little, even a little bit of chicken in it. I like to make my own instead of buy it. But you know, whatever is easy for you, all of us have certain ways how we like to cook. Look at this. We're gonna put the lid on this. And of course, we'll keep adding briquettes as we're cooking to keep that temperature up. When you're outside cooking, whether it's in the mountains or wherever you're cooking, your temperatures and your time really vary on the elements. If the wind is blowing, it's snowing, it's raining, you're probably thinking, why on earth would you be out there when it's raining and snowing? Well, you know, when you're up in the mountains and you can't run home, you got to eat, right? Okay, look at that. Okay, I'm gonna put the lid back on and then we are going to, to keep this at 350, what we do is we put 12 on the bottom and eight on top. And as it cooks, we will keep adding more. This is one of the most incredible meals that you can make in a one pot cast iron, and of course it's absolutely wonderful up in the mountains. Very hearty, and really all you need to have to go with that is a biscuit, a homemade biscuit, bread, 
And um, as you notice, we were cooking on our table outside out front, and that is a large table, and it also has a wind thing that goes around it. We didn't put that up today. And if you go to our website, wyomingdutchovencooking.com, there's a user's guide, which is wonderful, that tells about how the casts are and how to take care of it, and our, and our um, spices and things that we like to do, and a free recipe book. But also you can order that large table along with a lot of other different cookware and things we love to use. You hope, we hope you're enjoying this with us today. As you can see, that does look absolutely awesome. And just remember that our motto is good food shared with family and friends equals great times until we meet again. And here is a salute with a cup of good homemade coffee to all of our viewers, family and friends that support us. And we'll see you next Tuesday with another fun video.